welcome to Sunday Morning Slam right here on WBKO. My name is Kevin Morgan, and I'm here joining alongside Richard Lowe. And Richard, on today's podcast, you're going to see the new South Heavyweight Champion, the natural Chase Stevens. Well, we all know how I feel about Chase Stevens. Chase Stevens, you got lucky at SummerSlam when you won the new South title from Damian Wayne. But tonight, you're going to get beat in the middle of the ring right here on TV. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got all kinds of great action right here on WBKO. Get on, hold on to your seats, get your popcorn, get your breakfast ready, because we've got wrestling action coming your way. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take it to the ring right after this message from our sponsors. You're looking at the natural Chase Stevens, your heavyweight champion. And you should come on down to Neil's Core Supply, your number one core buyer. You can visit them at 4340 New Bowling Green Road. Call them today at 270-308-0715 and say hello to my good friends Martha and Eli Neal. If you've been hurt in a wreck, we want to help. By getting you as much money as we can, as quickly as we can. By getting to know you and keeping you informed every step of the way. And by dealing with the insurance companies and the paperwork and all of the other hassles that just add to your worries. Call Crocker Law Firm. It doesn't cost anything to see if we can help. If you've been injured in a wreck before you talk to an insurance company, call Crocker Law Firm. We know you're going through a lot. Reaching out for help should be painless. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Joy Beasley. and welcome to Sunday Morning Slam. I got the natural Chase Stevens right here, folks. Chase, how excited are you to be right here on WBKO Sunday Morning Slam? Well, how's it feel, Joy? I mean, well, you're right here. Look at the excitement of these people. Look at that, people at home watching us right now. Look, think of the viewership. You can cut the electricity with the knife, baby. Chase, you're the heavyweight champion. What are you going to do to keep that title around the waist? I'm going to be a fighting champion. He's going to be a champion. If you want to put the name on the dotted line, I'll be the man to defend the title. That's what a heavyweight, a true heavyweight champion is. Yeah. All right, folks, so come out to a Chase Stevens. You're a heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. Kevin Martin right here. What's up, world? Welcome to Short Stroke Tattoos, located at 100 Commerce Street, Franklin, Kentucky. Call us today to set up an appointment, 270-253-3740. And don't forget to ask about our military discount, Short Stroke Tattoos, the place where it doesn't cost you an arm or leg to get your arm or leg tattooed. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Christian James and I am joined here with Richard Lowe. Richard Lowe, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I get to, everybody gets to hear me on this lovely Sunday morning. I know everybody's been looking forward to it, couldn't wait all week to hear my voice again. I'm sure that's why they tuned in this week, Richard Lowe, to just to hear your uh, elegant voice. That's right. I've got a voice of an angel. But and matters in hand, we got the icon, Sean Hurley. You know, he calls himself the standard in professional wrestling today, Richard Lowe. What do you think about that? Well, he set a pretty high standard. He's had a high bar. He's a he's a, he's accomplished. He's a two-time Alliance champion. And yeah, he is. He's a two-time New South Tag Team champion as well. Yeah, and we're going to get our first look at Mario Jackson. Sadly, I don't think it's going to end well for him today as he takes on Sean Hurley. Man, I tell you, Mario Jackson, he is, uh, like I said last week, he, he is, look at him. I mean, the guy, the man, he, he's got size and he advantage in this, and his work is impeccable as well. Don't don't expect to see too many mistakes made by Mario Jackson. Yeah, uh, like I said, this is the first time I've seen him. I've heard good things about him, uh, but like I said, he's got that attitude problem, and that knocks everything down too much for me. Oh, Sean Hurley having an attitude problem? No, no, no. I'm talking about Mario Jackson having an attitude problem. Mario Jackson's got the attitude yeah. problem. Oh, okay. I guess that was legal right there. Did you see the eye poke there by Sean Hurley? Because the truth hurts when you're right, and Sean Hurley's been right from, from the day that he quit listening to these fans that he's been right the whole time. 
Mario Jackson takes it, spins the wrist, turns it right back into a hammerlock. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see more of Sean Hurley and Mario Jackson by subscribing to our network, NewSouthWrestling.PivotShare.com. Only $4.99 a month. You get unlimited access to everything that's on there. We have every uh, every episode of Sunday Morning Slam, all of our TV specials, our Cyber Slams, our conversation pieces, New South Goes Extreme, our, our house shows are on there as well. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss this at all. $4.99, $4.99 a month gets you all access to everything on the network. Richard Lowe, you're, you're subscribed, right? No, uh, I haven't subscribed yet because my my uh, segment that I've requested has not been put on there yet. And I refuse to subscribe to it. You put the lowdown on there. The lowdown on there. All right. Well, I tell you, we'll, we might just have to take to Facebook and just let the fans decide if they want to see the... Uh, the Richard Lowe Lowdown Show. That's right. They want to see an hour of nothing but me talking about how great I am Ooh, and how sorry they are. They love hearing me tell them how great, how, what I think of them. Uh, I just don't know about that, but we'll see what we can do with that. Oh, look at there. Nice arm drag from Mario Jackson. I tell you, man, he's got the tools to get the job done. That is for sure. I'm curious to know what shot uh what to, to just to be inside Sean Hurley's head after last week with uh, Chris Michaels using his finishing maneuver uh, to take that exotic Dale last week. Yeah, wonder what that's going. Wonder what's going to the mind of Sean Hurley. Yeah, I would say I'd say it's probably it's probably in the back of his mind, but he's looking at Mario Jackson right now. He's just got to get through him to get to Chris Ooh, Michaels. Hard left hand. He's got oh, another. One. He's got to go into this uh, with a clear mind. Nice know, in kid. the back of his head, he's worrying about Chris Michaels sending that message to him last week. You think so? I'm pretty sure it bothers him to a point, but I tell you, that's just fueling the fire. Chris Michaels just put the fuel in the fire. Look at nonchalant cover by Sean Hurley. Yeah, that probably wasn't the best of ideas. Mr. Not when you're in your ring with Mario Jackson. I'm telling you, this guy's got all of the tools to get the job done, and if Sean Hurley does not watch it, he will slip, and Mario will capitalize on his mistakes. I guarantee it. He was uh, showing Mr. Jackson some love there while you were talking. Um, is that what you call love? That's yeah, that was, was some love there. He was showing some love how much he cared about Mario him. Jackson firing back. And Sean Hurley goes straight to the eyes. See, that's, a, that's the thing about Sean Hurley now. He's got that aggressiveness. He's got that mean streak that he never had before. Nice and, shot. And, and that, is, that has made him a much more complete Oh, Sean Hurley needed this freaking jaw. My goodness. And if Chris Michaels thinks it's going to be a cakewalk going out there and beating Sean Hurley, he's got nothing coming. I tell you, he, uh... Oh, he's mimicking Sean, uh, Chris Michaels right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. With the, uh... Kicking the dust a little bit. It's, it is what, you know, Sean Hurley might be paying for those antics in a little while, Richard Lowe. You think so? Wow. Um, look at this beautiful suplex by Sean Hurley. And Anthony Wang with a short arm, you couldn't even get a three count right. That's Richard Lowe, right there. Anthony Wang is a very accomplished referee. He is a great official, not just for New South, but several promotions along around this country. And, and you know, you know what makes uh, the first. You know what makes the first and third Fridays of every month great. What's up? Sean Hurley and myself are in Franklin, Kentucky, at the New South Arena for the shows. And we are there, we pack them in, and those people love to come in here and see us and listen to us talk and, and us do our thing and, and beat all you guys down. We, <laughs> we definitely like packing them in, that's for sure, Richard Lowe, but I'm not quite sure that they like as well as you think listening to your voice and listening to Sean Hurley rant and rave about how he's overlooked and this and that and everything else and about how he dislikes the fans. If it weren't for the fans, Richard Lowe, you wouldn't be getting paid. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what they say, but I, I, I beg to differ. Just because they are the reason I get paid doesn't mean I got oh, like it. Just a hard smack by uh, Sean Hurley to Mario Jackson. Oh! He answers with a right and then a left and then another right and a left. The illegal fist. Oh, but I guess that's okay. Now. Well, I mean, if, if he's going to let him get away with an illegal fist, he might as well let him do throw an eye rake in there. Nothing wrong with that. There's another illegal fist. Anthony Wayne does nothing to just stand there and watch it. Oh, the hip toss. There might be a little hair and tight or tights in there. Uh, oh, oh, shady. Oh, my. Richard Lowe, what are you talking about? And that kind of looked like a fist to the face there. That was a clothesline. But, you know, like I said, it's it's uh, it's one of your pretty boys. When you're fat, when you're oh, nice spine bust. That could be all she wrote. One, two. Oh, man, that was really, really close, Richard Lowe. Like that. Sean Hurley is 
to accomplish to uh, be put down on that spine buster by Mario Jackson. If you say so, Richard It's going to take way more than that. Come on, Sean. He's going to the top. Let's stop it. Oh, oh and like oh. super kick. My goodness, that was out of nowhere, Richard Lowe. He running the gut. Two it? and three. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Well, I think there's our answer yeah. to Chris Michaels last week, Richard Lowe. That's right. He threw a super kick. Oh, wait. I'm being told right now that Sean Hurley, has re he requested some airtime. He oh. wants a microphone. We're going to get an interview with... Sean Hurley at ringside as soon as he decides to get out of the doggone ring. The ratings are about to go up when he gets on that microphone and watch and see. We're going to lay out, ladies and gentlemen, and let's hear what Sean Hurley has to say. I'm Christian James, and I want to tell you about Ray's Liquors, located at 210 Broadway Street in Cave City, Kentucky. They got all your alcohol needs. Cassius Clay, Patron Silver, my favorite. Hey, Jolita. Hey, James. Hey, Ray. Hey. hey, where's Deborah? She's in town. She's in town working? Always working, right? Hey, Chuck, what are you doing here, bud? I'm getting the best beer in town. Best beer in town. For all your alcohol needs, come to Ray's Liquors, 210 Broadway Street in Cave City, Kentucky. Bring live wrestling to your town. Are you interested in attracting a crowd or raising funds for your nonprofit organization? Well, wrestling puts the fun in Fundraiser. For over 20 years, it's been involved with producing live wrestling events for nonprofit groups, minor league sports teams, shopping centers and malls, carnivals and fairs, grand openings, and countless events of all types. For more information regarding a live event or fundraiser, please email one of our event coordinators. We have in uh, Trent Taylor versus Justin Granberry, the Alliance champion, Justin Granberry, might I add. The Alliance champion is actually Kevin Webb because possession is nine tenths of the law, and he possesses that tile at the moment. Just because he possesses it does not mean that he won it. He is not the Alliance champion. Uh, I don't agree. He with got pinned one, two, three at Cyber Slam by first class Justin Granberry. The fans seem to be liking Justin here today, uh, Richard Lowe. Well, uh, that's the problem around right here. Fans like the wrong people. Is that right? That's right. Oh, I'm sorry, just because they don't like your boy Trent Taylor there. Well, Trent Taylor, I, mean, I don't, I don't have a, too much love for him either. But uh, I'm starting to think if your name's not Damian Wayne or Derek Neal or Richard Lowe, you just not got too much love at all for him. Well, I do like Sean Hurley too. But yeah, you're pretty much right. Now, of course I'm right, Richard Lowe. Me and Derek Neal go way back. Damian Wayne is one of the greatest wrestlers to ever step foot in the ring. Yeah. You'll, you, you will never hear me dispute the fact that Richard Lowe, uh, Derek Neal, and Damian Wayne are two of the best out there today. That's right. Trent Taylor, look at he's trying to like uh, sneak in there and get the upper hand early. Uh, uh, Granberry's not going to fall for that. Well, I assure you of that. So here's my question. Even though I'm ex-commissioner, I don't have any faith on it. And, and Trent, uh, I can live or die without him. But I want to know how I got to come back after losing contract matches. Anybody that's willing to look uh, John Irons and cash flow in the eye 2 on one and fight for a contract, win, lose, or draw, they deserve another opportunity to be in the ring. That is for sure. I don't know, I don't know too many people that, that would actually have the uh, cojones to actually stand up and do that. Well, that's true. Right? You, have, you do have a point, because that, that, those guys, I wouldn't want to make them mad. I wouldn't want to be in a dark alley with those two. That's no, true. not at all. Oh, my goodness, in a hard clothesline by Justin Granberry to Trent Taylor. And Trent's starting to retreat now. And Trent's had a few problems with L.T. Falk in the past. That, that is for sure. He definitely has. You know, L.T. Falk defeated Trent Taylor at Cyber Slam in a ladder match 
You know, that's why Trent Taylor did not receive his contract back to New South Championship Wrestling, and LT Falk was guaranteed a shot at either the New South Championship or the Alliance Championship. He has yet decided. He has not let us know what championship he will be going after, Richard Rose. So, so how is that going to work? Is, can LT just have his match whenever? Can he no. just come out there? No. Or, or is it, is it gotta be, it's going to have to be, a, I'm giving you, I want this title, and I want my title shot this day. That's how we're doing it, right? He, he's going to choose what championship he wants to fight for, and then we will uh, we will sign a contract for a specific date and time. There will not be no shady tactics pulled whatsoever. The champion will definitely have a legitimate champ uh, chance to defend their championship. Uh, I, uh, so, in other words, your boy Justin Granberry there may end up having to face LT Fox for the Alliance Championship. That's, uh, honestly, that's the way it is looking, Richard Lowe. You know, consider that Justin Granberry is still mine and your oh, Alliance right. Champion, Richard oh, Lowe. It just pains me to hear that because he, he, he racks my nerves something off. In reverse. That VIP on the back of his neck there actually stands for very, very ignorant person. Very ignorant person? Yeah. He's very ignorant. Uh, he hangs around with you. That's enough right there to smell the guy's ignorant. <laughs> Trent Taylor gets hung up on the ropes and oh! Trent's not looking too hot this week with uh, Mr. Cranberry. It's Granberry. Oh, whatever. Cranberry, Granberry. And out goes Justin Granberry. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, dive through the ropes there. So I, tell him, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm his hero. <laughs> yeah, uh, you definitely um, rubbed off on him, we could say. He is really taking it to Trent Taylor this week, Richard Lowe, here on Sunday Morning Slam on WBKO. In two weeks, Richard Lowe, we will be right back at the New South Arena on Friday, October the 18th, 7.30 bell time. All seats will be $8. That's right, $8. Sean Hurley just laid down a, uh, a challenge. Well, look at who it is. Kevin Weatherby. Kevin Weatherby with the Alliance Championship. With Justin Granberry's Alliance Championship. Well, like I said, he's wearing it, so that's, in my book, that makes him the champion. Is that right? That's right. Uh, I, I could not disagree more. If I ran New South the right way, like it should be run, he'd be champion right now. No, he would not. Yeah, he would. He, in order I, hey, you got it. You took it away from him. You beat him down at the Miami Middle of the Ring. You're champion. He, he got beat, Richard Lowe. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, in two weeks, ladies and gentlemen, on Friday, October the 18th at the New South Arena, 512 West Madison Street, we will be doing a live house show taping for our network, NewSouthWrestling.PivotShare.com. All tickets are $8. Sean Hurley just laid down a challenge to the headliner, Chris Michaels, for that evening, Richard Lowe. What yeah, do you think about that? That's going to be a big match. Chris is uh, set up the plate, which, as much as I hate to say this, he's not going to back down from a challenge. Uh, I'm sure Chris I Michael guarantee will be you, Chris Michaels will be accepting that challenge laid down by Sean Hurley uh, later uh, earlier this morning. Oh, and a hard clothesline by uh, Justin Granberry again. Uh, the next one, Chase Stevens, I'm sure, will be in action on October the 18th as well. Justin Granberry, your alliance champion, will be in action as well. Trent Taylor's not looking so good. I don't know if he will even be in action. Richard yeah. Lowe, will you even be there that night? Uh, I'm always going to be there. I'll be everywhere. Anywhere I can be a thorn in your side. That's what you side. thought That's what you oh, thought yeah. last week, too, October the 4th. You thought that you was going to come and wreak havoc and everything while Earl Hebner and Tommy Rich was in the house. We took care of that, didn't we, Richard Yeah, Lowe? you banned me from the building that's on the, right. on the uh, September 20th. Uh, I'll let you show. know. You let I'll let you know real building. fast. I'll let you know real fast that you were not Welcome at the New South Arena, at Solas Pekka, or anywhere else for that matter. But that's all right, because I will I will always be there now. You can't stop me. You're not going to keep me from coming in the building anymore. I've got a new lawyer by the name of Ben Dover that's going to make sure that you can't bar me from any buildings anymore. You just keep in mind, i got some pretty good lawyers as well. You ever heard of Crocker in Bowling Green, Kentucky, Richard Lowe? Cro Crocker can't touch uh, Ben Dover. He's on the Facebook. I happen to disagree, ladies and gentlemen. He's got me out of many things. He's found many loopholes for me over the years. I'm sure he has. I wonder how much you had to pay for them uh, underhanded tactics. Oh, my goodness. I get a discount. You do you? Yeah, I get a discount. We're great friends. But, um, Granberry moved out on the cannonball there. Um, 
Like like you said, it's just not looking too good for Trent Taylor. So he's lucky he's having a bad week. As a matter of fact, he never has a good week. I don't think I've ever seen him have a good week. Trent Taylor does not seem to be looking. Oh, and a flat line around the door. That's it. That'll Go ahead. Good. Get the pooper scooper, ladies and gentlemen. Trent That's Taylor is done. He is done. And still, your Alliance champion, Kevin Weatherby. Justin Granberry. Ah. That's right. Look at there. Justin Granberry, ladies and gentlemen. But it doesn't say Alliance champion. <laughs> He is, the, he is still your current reigning and defending Alliance champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back after a word from our sponsors with your main event. The natural Chase Stevens and the New South Heavyweight Championship is on the line. You're looking at the natural Chase Stevens, your heavyweight champion. And you should come on down to Neil's Core Supply, your number one core buyer. You can visit them at 4340 New Bowling Green Road. Call them today at 270-308-0715 and say hello to my good friends Martha and Eli Neal. If you've been in an accident, you may think, I'm hurt, I've been wronged, I have all this financial stress, how will I afford a lawyer? At Crocker Law Firm, fees and expenses are paid from the money you are awarded when it is awarded to you. In the meantime, you don't have to fight alone. We have the knowledge and experience to help you set things right. If you've been hurt in a wreck, you can call Crocker Law Firm anytime, day or night, at 270-846-3100. It doesn't cost anything to see if we can help. Hello, I'm Christian James, and I want to tell you about Ray's Liquors, located at 210 Broadway Street in Cape City, Kentucky. They got all your alcohol needs, cash is clay, Patron Silver, my favorite. Hey, Jolita. Hi, Jay. Hey, Ray. Hey. hey, where's Deborah? She's in town. She's in town working? Always working, right? Hey, Chuck, what are you doing here, bud? I'm getting the best beer in town. Best beer in town. For all your alcohol needs, come to Ray's Liquors, 210 Broadway Street in Cape City, Kentucky. I am Christian James, and I am back with Richard Lowe. Richard Lowe, we have uh, the New South Heavyweight Champion, the natural Chase Stevens, in action here against Dixie Dynamite. Dixie Dynamite, he's a, a relative newcomer. Actually, I wrestled him in his first two matches in the business, and he's tougher and he's, uh, he's very sneaky. He's got a couple of things. He beat you? He beat me twice. So he Did he beat you, Richard? He, uh, he had the full fight. Oh, okay, so he pulled the yeah, fight. Yeah, he had the full fight to beat me. Uh, I understand. I, I had a manager that distracted me, and that just kind of got it all messed up. Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I wouldn't think that you'd make you know, legitimate excuses on why, you know, DC Dynamite, the talented young individual, upset the doctor style Richard Lowe. I kind of like his style as well. Look at the tights he's got on. All right, he's got the uh, American flag look there, red, white, and blue. Uh, Man, I think he might have bit off more than he can chew here today, though. Yeah. Uh, the natural Chase Stevens. And as much as I dislike either one of them, I guess I'm not sure for the underdog in this one, because I'll never cheer for Chase Stevens there. You don't like Chase Stevens? Oh, I, I, Chase Stevens, uh, I have not liked him for a long time. Um, matter of fact, the plan got in place a year before it happened, the night that Damian Wayne won the title from Chase Stevens, and I had a little help. <laughs> He seems to be in a peculiar situation here now, Dixie Dynamite, that is, huh? Chase Stevens, what, about 6'2", um, 250, and he got a 180 pound uh, midget in there with him. What do you expect? Expect what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Chase Stevens having an upper hand. He's wrestling a midget. This is a very, very big opportunity for young Dixie Dynamite. Hit her main beating Sunday morning slam with the New South heavyweight champion, the natural Chase Stevens. Well, this might be the toughest competitor that Dixie Dynamite has ever faced in his young career. Well, I know that process is wrestling me before. But he beat you. Yeah. Twice. But it was rather nowhere in his luck because my manager was stupid. My question is, have you, uh, have you, uh, I think, have you got the Nelson back yet, Richard? Oh, I'll, I'll get him back. You will. Really I'm, oh, I'm in training right now. Oh, man, look at that. 
But right now, I love being commissioner and being a four in your side so much. But I'm not getting in that ring, but without getting that ring, I'll lose my commissioner shit. So I'm in no hurry. You're in no hurry. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Dixie Dynamite wasn't mind taking you to school once again, Richard. Uh, I'll take that mask off of him and show him how ugly that boy really is. I've heard that by several people before. You know, I at one time actually unmasked Dixie Dynamite. And you know what he done? Uh, had two masks. He had one on underneath. Oh, that's right. He beat you too before. He <laughs> sure did. Pretty much fun of me. When I forgot all about him, he beat you. I should have remembered that. I actually beat him. It was a mask versus hair mask. Oh, that's right. And he outsmarted you. That he did. I, I believe that uh, that the uh, the corny himself, Burt Prentice, had something to do well, with that. Yeah, that was the Burt Prentice smart guy, and, and he, he's always got he's always one step ahead of people. So. Burt Prentice is a one of a kind. I assure you of that, Richard. Well, I ain't got to tell you because you know Mr. Uh, you know Burt Prentice for a very long time as well as I have. Burt Prentice, good guy. I worked uh, uh, for him for many years on and off. The voter of USA Championship right. Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. In That's right. Been in the business a very, very long time, guys. And Chase Stevens will take it to Dixie Dynamite now. Oh, my God. And I think it's, it's, the pose just moved, Richard Lowe. Did you see that? Yeah, we, might need, we might need to get a doctor out here. He's holding just smaller than his back. He's, he's definitely mad. Take a trip to Kyle Cracker after that one. My goodness. You know, he's in the face. He's in the move out. Of, hey, that's one of my moves. What's he doing with my moves? He's in the face like that. I'm sure he, he wants to be. Chase Stevens wants to be me. That's the problem. That's that what he wants me because he can't be me. Oh. Man, he just knocked the wind out of Chase Stevens there. Oh, my goodness. And again. And I, I, I'm working on some surprises for Chase Stevens in the coming months. So, oh. You better have be watching his back because of Chase fires the right back with right. a hard right hand. Yeah, we know you're always working around somewhere where you shouldn't be, Richard Lowe. I tell you, the fans here at the New South Arena are really behind. Oh. The National Chase Stevens and a scissors kick. That's got to be it, ladies and gentlemen. That should be it right there. He one, two, oh, oh and he kicked, he kicked out. out. Yeah. I tell you, that's what I love about this young kid, Richard Lowe. This is down my has a never say die attitude. Mark my words, he will be a big name in this business one day, I promise you. Oh, God, he's folded him like an accordion. If he kicks out of this, we might have a, never mind, he couldn't kick out of that. I tell you, the natural Chase Stevens, he definitely knows that he's going to fight here this morning on Sunday morning slam, Richard Lowe. Yeah, that was, uh, uh, Dixie Dynamite gave him a valiant effort. He tried, this was a battle of fan favorites, and so, you know. That's right, uh, that's right. The fans, you know, they didn't know who to cheer for, Dixie Dynamite or the natural Chase Stevens. You know, Dixie Dynamite, Dynamite don't get up there too often at the New South Arena. Right. He, uh, he oh, what is this? Where did he come from, Mr. Derek, Neal? Derek Neal. I told you there was a surprise the round. Are you room. serious? <laughs> Derek Neal, get out of the ring. Are you behind this, Mr. Lowe? I told you I had some surprises coming. I cannot believe this. I can't deny it. I didn't know nothing about this. He's but talking crap to Oh, my God, what a vicious face. He put him, he laid him flat on the mat with that. And hopefully, right here is the end of Chase Stevens. Oh my goodness. Oh, so this is what it's all about. It's all about that belt. That's what it's about. Derek Neal wants the, uh, the New South Heavyweight Championship. That's what it's about. Uh, I told you last week that, uh, that he was saying he was tired of being held back and he was going to uh, make a statement and he was getting ready to go out. And go out. Oh my God. He just flashed him in the face. Chase Stevens never met an opponent like Derek Neal because he's my crazy. Goodness. And the only person that can calm him down is me. Is that right, Mr. Lowe? That's right. I don't even know if you can calm Derek Neal down. I, I can calm him down, but I don't, really, I don't do it very often. I don't know, Mr. Lowe. Chase Stevens is out on it, guys. We need to get him some help out here. Well, this is like this is like the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Second weekend of TV, Derek Neal. DKO and Derek Neal just like Chase Stevens, a former world tag team champion out in the middle of the ring. Derek Neal, man. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe this. Chase is still, he's starting to come too. It's Anthony Wayne, Chase. He's not the one who's done it. I guarantee you he's got a concussion after this. He, he looks like he's, he's uh, that hard D right on the base of the chin and then being blasted in the head. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. I am Christian James for Rich Love. We will see you next week.
Bring live wrestling to your town. Are you interested in attracting a crowd or raising funds for your nonprofit organization? Well, wrestling puts the fun in fundraiser. For over 20 years, it's been involved with producing live wrestling events for nonprofit groups, minor league sports teams, shopping centers and malls, carnivals and fairs, grand openings, and countless events of all types. For more information regarding a live event or fundraiser, please email one of our event coordinators. 